Thank you for coming here again. I am Dr. Uram Gim. So this is the fourth webinar. So we try to our best to introduce the product of Aqua Medical. I'm not sure you are satisfied, but anyway, uh, I will do my best to uh, introduce this product as well. Well, mm, today I'd like to introduce the product of scaffold thread. So slide to say all. And if the time permits, I'd like to introduce my own application. So let's start. So today we talk about the scaffold type thread. Uh, the effect of threads can be categorized into two ways. The first one, by the, he uh, by the help of the cog, we can anchor the tissue and pull it upward. Uh, it's a physical pulling. So it uh, happens immediately. But the second effect can be uh, created by the collagen synthesis. The thread can stimulate the surrounding tissue and it finally uh, synthesizes the collagen. This collagen can uh, increase the skin tension and it can also improve the skin texture. The scaffold type thread uh, is the model which can which is designed to maximize this synthesizing collagen function you can just imagine a net in the sea where the seaweed and lava can attach on you can also imagine a framework for a building then you can add a, a concrete a cement concrete to make a building so the scaffold strap should uh, have enough surface where the thread and tissue can meet. The ideal gap between the thread should be around one micro, one mi 100 micrometer to 500 micrometers. We have two models of this scaffold type thread. The first one is multi-line. 14 different threads are loaded on a single cannula. So if you insert only one cannula, you can insert 14 different threads simultaneously. Another uh, model is cavern screw. Uh, cavern means a cave, so the inner surface of the thread will make a, will form a cave. Uh, different from the conventional spirally loaded thread, the spiral is very tight and there is no gap between the threads and the end of the thread is tied on the cannula very tightly so it's very difficult to separate the thread from the cannula so there is another device which is called auxiliary tube which helps the separation of the thread from the cannula so the, uh, the uh, sky color device is uh, auxiliary tube Different from conventional spiral thread, uh, which in which if you remove the thread, the thread remove the needle, the thread can easily come out together. By the help of the auxiliary tube, you can insert the thread uh, with the cabin thread. You can insert the thread completely, pushing the thread into the tissue. You can observe the collagen tissue gathered around the thread. You should check that the maximized amount of collagen can be collected in one or two months. So you should warn the patient before the procedure. The maximum effect will happen in one or two months. So let's talk about the application of scaffold type threads. First of all, it can replace the uh, depressed part of the wrinkle. Because it's loaded on a cannula, you should puncture the site with 18 gauge needle. I will insert the thread under the wrinkle on forehead. First of all, with 18 gauge cannula, this is 18 gauge cannula, you can dissect that space. Uh, the dissection itself can uh, improve the wrinkle. It can also make enough space for the thread. Then you can just insert the multi-line thread. 
just insert the cannula and remove the cannula pushing the white brake that's all very simple so uh, of course you can feel the dis uh, depression with the fillers but as you know there are a lot of vessels and it's around eye so this kind of filler injection uh, sometimes it can cause uh, embolism uh, unfortunately if it attacks the eyes it can also cause blindness but with thread lifting you don't have to worry about this kind of uh, terrible complication at all you can also insert the thread to fill the depression on the wrinkle of the glabular because there is a, a large vessel called supratercular artery so I do not recommend to dissect before inserting the thread I insert the cabin screw thread along the depressed part of the wrinkle and pushing the auxiliary tube you can remove the cannula softly if the volume is not sufficient you can insert one more cabin thread if the depression or the wrinkle is very severe you can insert uh, uh, cabin screw thread instead of multi-line but uh, for moderate case the multi-line is enough I corrected the wrinkle on forehead and, gla on and glabular for this patient with multi-line and cabin screw thread we can observe the wrinkles on both area improved a lot we can also insert the thread to correct the irregularity on lower eyelid and to fill the tear trough as well. Of course, we can inject filler or we can perform the operation. But sometimes patients don't want to get fillers here where the operation requires a lot of recovery time. The thread lifting can be a good alternative, but the effect it's not so dominant. The depression on nasal jugal groove can be also augmented by inserting the multi-line thread. It's very simple. You can insert the thread from the lateral side of, of lower eyelid and you can advance it to the medial side. So don't forget, the <coughs> tissue here is very thin. If you insert the thread very superficially, the control will be exposed on the surface so the patient will complain it so don't forget you should insert the thread under the muscle the OOM muscle quite deep layer and so don't forget you should insert the thread under the muscle here you can also insert uh, one more thread for to fill the uh, tear trough as well I inserted a uh, multi-line thread to correct the lower eyelid irregularity and nasal sugar groove for this patient. This scaffold type thread is also used to correct the marionette line. There is some height difference across the line. The medial side is usually lower than the lateral side. You can just insert the scaffold type thread from the medial side to the lateral side across the marionette line the stepping will be improved very simple but the layer should be quite superficial if you insert the thread too deep here it can obliterate the branch of uh, marginal mandibular facial nerve so it can cause some uh, partial uh, palsy so don't worry it can be recovered soon so I do not recommend to insert this thread too deep. You can also feel the depression on lateral cheek, which is created by uh, zygomatico cutaneous retaining ligament. Everyone has this uh, depression there. Uh, you can, of course, you can inject filler, but the patient don't want to fill that area with the filler. The scaffold type thread can make some volume. You may remember that we feel the depression between the hump to the glabular for the patient who has a dominant hump. You may remember this photograph. 
you can insert the multi-line thread from the glabella to the hump to fill the depression there. Also, uh, many people, many older people complain that the mouse corner drooping. So you can just insert two multi-line thread from the mouse corner to the lower lateral part. We can uh, check the change. The mouse corner became upturned. So uh, it is the presentation of uh, scaffold, scaffold type thread. From now on, I'd like to introduce my own application. Usually, uh, I think that the customizing is very important. So you should uh, have some, you should make some change for depending on patients uh, drooping better. But in my case, I like to apply uh, already fixed application for every every patient because uh, I can find out the error uh, quickly and I can improve the technique uh, also very fast. Uh -huh. I, uh, this technique can be very strong. So if you are a beginner doctor, first of all, you should accumulate uh, the experience of thread lifting with uh, Kogamast gear or other simple thread, then you can try this. But if you are experienced physician, uh, you can compare my pro, uh, my application with yours. So uh, I know that there are a lot of doctors who can perform better procedure than I can, but it can, I, 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 it'll be my honor. It, it, it can help your improvement of uh, procedure. I usually uh, like to use dual lifting thread. You can remember this model I introduced the, uh, in the first, on the first week, dual lifting four and dual lifting six. Dual lifting four means uh, 42 centimeters long, bi-directional, two-directional, uh, uh, sculpted cork, arrow-shaped cork but both end of the thread, it has 10 centimeter long blunt needle. It's a long thread. So dual lifting uh, six is the same, uh, but the length is about 30 centimeters. I usually like to use these uh, uh, strong models of uh, strong models of thread. First of all, uh, I can apply the dual lifting four thread on temple. So, you know, uh, I prefer to apply, to use W-shaped application or U-shaped application where I can hide the scar and irregularity. So for the temple, the hair will hide this kind of irregularity effectively. So I can apply W-shaped application there. And on mastoid, the ear can hide the irregularity there. So I can apply the U-shape application because this application has very strong anchoring. So we can guarantee the effect. Uh, but if I apply the thread on more exposed part like the sideburn or anterior part of the ear, I prefer to apply V-shaped method because it can create less scar and less irregularity. And this is a uh, conventional W application, but you should know the, the acute angle created by the W can cause, on the acute angle point, it can cause a severe pain. So nowadays, I prefer to use modified W application. There is no acute angle here, so the patient will feel the pain far less than the previous one. Uh, don't forget, this procedure should be applied recurrently. Then you can accumulate and you can invite the patient more to your clinic. So you should release, you should reduce the, the pain as much as you can. That's why I modified many applications. Uh, on the medial part, you can use uh, fanning technique from the tower. It can also improve the jaw and it can also augment the anterior molar as well. 
the most medial thread can correct the, the drooping along the nasolabial fold as well. I usually prefer to use 19 gauge Cogmaster gear 1 thread for the medial part, uh, 18 gauge Cogmaster gear 1 thread for the lateral part. Because as I mentioned before, there are a lot of facial expression muscle on the medial side of the face. So if you use thick thread here, the patient will comprehend the foreign body sensation. That's why. But for better effect, I can add Cog Master Gear 3, number 3 thread here. I just follow the best way of uh, dual lifting thread. But it can improve the, the result immediately. So this Cog Master Gear 3 application is very important. If you are a beginner, you can just insert this thread, that's all. With poor thread, you can make some good result. And, for, and to improve the skin texture, I can add Cogging Screw Plus 25 gauge, uh, six, 60 millimeters. Uh, it can, uh, but don't forget, these threads are loaded on a sharp needle. So you should be very careful not to make bruising. So when you remove the needle, you should uh, push it, the tissue sufficiently to prevent swelling and bruising. This is the end of my presentation today. Uh, 